Brexit fishing outrage. Brexiteer shames Boris's deal EU boats have unfettered access. A leading Brexiteer has lashed out at Boris Johnson's fishing deal with the European Union, ahead of crunch Brexit talks next week. In a scathing assessment, former Brexit party MEP Ben Habib said the agreement has given EU vessels unfettered access to UK waters while blocking trade to Europe. Mr Habib shared his comments on Twitter after reacting to an express.co.uk article where fellow Brexiteer June Mummery branded the deal a disaster. The trade and cooperation agreement was signed off by Boris Johnson at the end of December and outlined EU fishing quotas would be reduced over the next five years. Since January, the UK fishing industry has been hit with additional checks on sending stocks to Europe, and fishing chiefs argue the deal in practice gives EU boats continued access to UK waters. In a post on Twitter, Mr Habib wrote. EU boats have unfettered access to our waters to catch what they like, unchecked, and unchallenged. Our own fishermen are prohibited from selling their catch to the EU. This is the fishing deal. At the Vigfrost, at Mpjigiestis at Victoria Prentice. Speaking on Friday with Mr. Habib on the Unlocked Underscore UK media channel, Ms. Mummery argued the UK fishing industry has been let down. She said, The deal is still there and the deal is a disaster. The industry can't express to anyone how bad it is, and the mood in the industry is still deflated. Ms. Mummery added, We were promised that we would take that full control of our waters and the resource, and to have that taken away, taking our aspirations and our opportunities away from us, was a big blow. National Federation of Fishing Organization CEO Barry Dees has previously branded the deal as the worst of all worlds. Under the terms of the Brexit agreement, EU fishing quotas will be gradually reduced over the five-year adjustment period. In the agreement a compromise was reached for EU quotas to be cut by 25% by 2026. The UK left the controversial EU common fisheries policy and has since encountered further problems regarding the export of shellfish. Britain is now being treated as a third country by the bloc and must adhere to strict health rules when shipping oysters, mussels, clams, cockles and scallops. They must now undergo the expensive process of being purified and be accompanied by health certificates before being sent to the continent. The UK government were previously told the measures would only last until April 21, but the European Commission has outlined plans to make it permanent.